Oh, the Telegraph is quite harsh on Prime Minister Sunak. The promised deportation flights to Rwanda would not take place. Instead, migrants would continue to arrive in the UK and be accommodated in nice hotels, they write. The failure on the migration issue will herald Sunak's political end, and his party could achieve the worst result the Conservatives have ever achieved in a general election. Has this or any other British government ever wasted so much money for as little impact as the millions that Rishi Sunak paid the French to supposedly prevent migrants from crossing the channel? Asked Ross Clark in his sharp comment in the British Telegraph. The allegations that Clark makes are clear. The number of migrants arriving in Great Britain by boat reached a new record in the first quarter of 2024. Over 4,600 somehow managed to escape the French patrols, he wrote. With better weather, they could soon expect significantly more. Rishi Sunak's government has done the worst thing on the issue of illegal immigration by making big noises and then failing to even begin to deliver, he wrote. And the tone is completely different now. Confidence that anything on this issue will change for the better has completely disappeared and patience has been exhausted. One minister after another got upset about illegal immigration and told us that he would do everything to stop the boats. But the end result is even more illegal immigration than in the beginning, Clark wrote. Developments that Britain shares with other countries, citizens of all countries, want significantly less immigration. The governments meet at migration summits where they act as if they do, and in the end, the EU countries and primarily Germany only receive more immigration through all channels, which clearly should not be prevented in any way, but only managed. If we pay the French money to try to stop the boats, the agreement should contain a clear condition. Anyone found on a British beach or caught in British waters should be automatically and immediately sent back to France. There should be no legal aid, no room, nothing. The message that trying to cross the channel is pointless would have spread quickly. You pay a smuggler and risk your life for no reason, Clark says. Completely ignoring international law, but we are used to that. According to the current polls, the Tories, Sunak's party, are facing a serious defeat. The Business Standard writes... The opposition Labour Party is 19 points ahead of the Conservatives on 45% of the vote, three points more than in the group's last poll at the end of last year. And the Sunday Times seat-by-seat -seat analysis says the Tory party's prospects have fallen to a record low, meaning it is on track for its worst election result, winning fewer than 100 seats. Labour could win 468 seats, giving opposition leader Sir Keir Starmer's party a whopping 286-seat majority. And Sunak's Tories with that could deliver the worst result the Conservatives have ever achieved in a general election. Many European leaders agree that asylum seekers must apply for asylum in the country they reach first, and unless someone is fleeing Macron's regime, they have no reason to cross the channel. <laughs> Clark again. This would be the only thing that Britain and France would do is to reinforce this opinion. If the European Court of Human Rights takes a different view, the government should tell it to go somewhere else, as other countries seem to like to do on all sorts of issues. Well, the commentary in the Telegraph concludes that the promised flights to Rwanda will not go ahead as well. The government rattles its saber against illegal immigrants and then puts them up in nice hotels, they wrote. And as I previously reported, the number of people crossing the English Channel to Great Britain small boats also reached a record in the first quarter of this year. As the PA News Agency reported on last Monday, citing the Home Office in London, more than 5,400 people made the dangerous journey across the strait in the first three months of this year alone. In the same period last year, there were almost 3,800 people and the previous record was from 2022 with 4,500 people. 
This is not good news for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's conservative government and not also that the telegraph that usually was on their side is beating them up like that. The government is currently trying to push a, a bill through Parliament to save its asylum pact with Rwanda, which is actually intended to deter migrants. And when the numbers f fell at the end of last year, they felt that this was confirmed. The plans call for people who have entered the country without permission to be brought to the East African country in the future, regardless of their origin. They should then apply for asylum there, and there are no plans to ever let them return to Great Britain. However, the highest court declared this procedure to be illegal, arguing that Rwanda did not have a reliable asylum procedure and was therefore not a safe country for those seeking protection. And the government now wants to overturn this ruling by law with this bill by declaring Rwanda safe. Opposition to this comes from the upper house, which made a number of changes to the draft. And uh, this will be discussed again in the House of Commons on April 15th. And as I said, the Conservatives could suffer a major defeat against the opposition Labour Party in the upcoming UK ele election, according to a new poll. According to the latest forecast from the Market and Opinion Research Institute, YouGov, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and his Conservative Party could suffer a severe election defeat. That was reported by the news agency Reuters. And I talked about this before, but this is a decisive part now. We know that the elections will be in the second half of the year, but we don't know when. But the model that was developed by YouGov, which predicts results for individual constituencies based on estimated vote share, suggests that Sunak's conservatives could win just 155 seats. Labour, on the other hand, could secure 403 seats in this uh, poll, according to the predictions. The British Parliament overall consists of a total of 650 seats. And these results now reinforce Labour's long-standing lead in the polls. The YouGov forecast suggests Sunak continues to struggle to gain momentum following a tax cut last month and ahead of the local elections that will happen in May. Prominent Conservative MPs who could lose their seats include even Chancellor of the Exchequer Jeremy Hunt and former leadership candidate Penny Mordaunt, according to YouGov. For the survey, YouGov surveyed 18,761 British adults, so not just the thousand we are used to. And according to the polling institute, the method was able to correctly predict the results of the two previous general elections. But for the upcoming election, the model predicts a result in which Labour would lead with 41% of the vote, while the Conservatives would have 24, and they would be happy to hear that regarding the Reform Party. However, it was noted that the results could differ from regular surveys due to the handling of non-voters. The Conservatives have been in government in different ways since 2010, but have had five different Prime Ministers during this time. And in recent years, Brexit and the scandal surrounding the handling of the COVID pandemic have particularly disrupted the British political landscape and not to forget the short time rule of Liz Truss. And if you want to know more, the next video is right in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.